Let's look at this and uh, uh, put it in perspective. I have the zone out chairman, Independent uh, Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Western Zone, uh, Mr. Tajuddin uh, Lamidi. Thank you very much for your time and coming live to the studio. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to start this way. Uh, when the border closure came, I, I'm going to start from that aspect. We saw that the figure dropped, that the number of fuel we consume in Nigeria is so so amount a day. And after the closure, we now notice that it dropped. So it sh showed that maybe some people were smuggling this thing out of the country. <laughs> well, uh, good afternoon, viewers. Once again, my name is Dele Tajudin the SONA chairman of Independent Petroleum Market Association of Nigeria, Southwest. Yeah. Well, uh, going forward, the, sh the issue of uh, border closure, there is no sane person that is, if you are loyal to, the, to your country, you put Nigeria first, that will support smuggling of not only petroleum products, smuggling of any products outside the country, because of it is uh, adverse effect on the country. Because at the end of the day, every one of us will be a loser. Yes. So for us in Ipman, we don't support smuggling of petroleum products outside the country. Mm. Now, looking at Ipman, uh, you people service the nooks and crannies of this country. I know your filling stations are everywhere. When we are traveling, there are aside from the majors, which everybody knows. How has supply been? At the time, there were issues around supply. I know NNPC is the sole importer at the moment, but what's been happening to you, talking about supply? Well, uh, I, can, uh, I can tell you authoritatively that the supply has been very, very good, regular. Because apart from a uh, confessional depot of NMPC, in Southwest we have a legal satellite depot. Yes. We have yeah, functional now. Mosumi depot. We have uh, Ibadan depot, Ilorin depot, and Ore depot. But out of these five depots, only Ore depot is not functional. And uh, I want to commend government for uh, making the depot functional. And uh, they have promised that very soon or a depot will be functional. But in addition to that, uh, we observe that there are a lot of tank farms in Apapa, mm. ranging from Ninko, First Roya, uh, Rain Oil, Bufas, and so on and so forth. Everywhere. Uh, so, so there is abundant supply of petroleum products mm. as of today. What about the road situation? I know that used to be a challenge too for the movement of products at the time. What's happening? I'm sure the expressway is getting through, I think, to a level now. Well, I must also give it to federal government, government? <laughs> for taking a very prompt action because you agree with me that uh, a papa axis is very, very congested because of the port and the, the tank farms around the place. There's a lot of money in that place mm -hmm. every day. I'm just trying to imagine so I think, the port. Uh, I think it was due to lack of planning mm. because uh, when there are concentration of industry in a place, you must also look at the easy movement of uh, uh, products out of that place. But uh, we must also commend the government for the rail. By the time they fail, I mean they finish, finish the rail movement, I think it will hit the problem. And we must also thank uh, Dangote for his efforts. He's also doing a lot to ensure that the road is better. We will say that the road is being constructed now, but the place is congested. That is the truth. Because at times, even when products are loaded, it takes time for the products, so the vehicles to move out of the room. Yes. And that is very, very, very dangerous. It's because uh, safety must be considered first. Mm. Because mm. if there should be any small fire incidents, it's going to consume everybody. So government must readdress their plans on movement, or, I mean, in and out movement of vehicle around them. because petroleum products are very, very volatile. So it is uh, imperative they must do something about it. Mm -hmm. Even if it means demolition houses, to ensure that the whole environment is very, very safe. safe. That safety is not negotiable. I'm, I'm, I must tell you this, uh, even property is in that area now when you want to look at its worth. It's not like what it used to be before now. And it's because of that road and what actually happens there. It's not too good. Let's look at this argument that has been on for a long time. And even some marketers always like to support it. That's deregulation of 
the oil and gas, the downstream of the oil and gas sector. Many say this might be the way to go finally. I, I don't know if what, he, what, what the position of Ipman or what your position is to this. You see, the regulation is like uh, somebody is afraid of death, which will eventually come. There is no true way to the regulation because uh, it is clear in any economy where there is no competition. There's going, there's bound to be. Uh, that's what has been causing scarcity. You see, when you deregulate an economy, an, an, an economy, there's going to be so many prayer. And the fear of the price will even come down. But at first? At first, of course, you have to, you have to pay, pay a price for it. But by the time you have so many players, people will naturally drop their margin. Because if you regulate, you, you see, let me talk as of today, eh, this at a papa started dropping down from 190, I think to, as of today is about 175. Really? I am telling you with all honest of purpose, we have daily. Because it's regulated, because the, 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 the market is flooded. So because there are so many other players. If you don't sell, I'll sell. If you don't sell, and if you are selling, at a 10 naira margin, I, I may decide to drop my one at 5 naira margin. Yeah. So the regulation is imminent and it's going to happen at the end, of whether we like it or not. It's, it's, the, it's the best way to go because it will allow so many players, people will bring out money because today it is only NMPC that is monopolizing it. And that is why you don't get best results when you allow many players, when competition settings, so you will see different. In the past, you see how our Philistines are. But when the competition is very high now, you will see that if you don't have a canopy in your filling station, if, if the road to your filling station is not good, people will not even patronize you. So it is better we take it once and for all. But it is important hmm. that if eventually they deregulate, the proceed should be used to alleviate masses' problem. Not some certain set of people will now take advantage of that. Uh, because amount. that effect immediately, that action must be, is taken. Must be felt by the Nigerians. We are waiting for electricity increase. We are waiting for a lot of increases now. So mm -hmm. if this happens again and the price of fuel is up, <laughs> I don't think that. A, a, a parting shot for me. What more should we expect? More talking about Ipman distribution of products as we move on in the year. Yes. Um, you will agree with me that Ipman is the highest player in the industry. As a matter of fact, we control, in fact, in Southwest, we consume about 65% to 70% of the national consumption. And in Chocha, Ipman controls about 80%. And i give you an example. If you look at Lagos, Ibadan Express Road, majority of the yes. petrol stations there are are independent, independent. marketers. And even some that you see, maybe mobile. Now let me take for example, the Tocha at Bega belongs to an independent marketer. It's just the trade name. Yeah. So most of the stations belong to independent marketer. So, but we are having problems. That is, uh, I will categorize the problem as wow. inter internal and yeah. external problem. But I can assure you, in Southwest today, we have resolved our problems. So in terms of service delivery, uh, we have a purpose, and we are going to achieve that. I love and that. I, and I want to assure the masses that you will get the best from independent marketers. Yes, yeah, that's a good one. Yes, that best is what Nigerians need. Yes. Ah, Zona Chairman, that's Western Zone. Oh, yes, under yes. my watch, oh, I can yes. assure Ip you Man. that. Ah, thank you very much, Mr. Dele Tajudin Lademindi. Thank you very much for joining us on Business Nigeria mm. today to talk more about the oil and gas sector, particularly downstream.